full metal heli. Even like our quadcopter. Um, first of all, I took those little covers off. For outdoor flying, I would suggest taking those off. You know, the performance, it actually increases the performance and the airflow through these uh, little ducted fans a lot better. Uh, and I'll show you what else I did here. Uh, I uh, went ahead and put this on here, guys. Uh, I went ahead and you could put this inside of this this slot here but I'll tell you what kind of throws the weight off so what I did was I just went ahead and stuck it on the bottom of the quadcopter and kind of felt in the middle I got my fingers here in the middle to find the sweet spot so it's not you know too heavy either front or back you know it's kind of balanced the weights balanced uh, and what I did was I took some heat shrink actually some tubes I'll show you and I stuck it I pulled these little foam tabs out and there's a hole down in here that goes all the way to about here uh, to about here what I did was I went ahead and pulled the little foam things out and then what I did was I took heat shrink basically I took uh, a you know the right size tube you just got to kind of play around to find the right size tube that actually fits snugly down inside that hole uh, I will put in the, the uh, description the size of this tube I'll have to go back in and check it and then what I did was I put some colored tube over the top of it and then just took my lighter and kind of melted it to the outside of this with the red in the front and a little yellow in the back just to give it a little orientation you know if you're flying a line of sight it's kind of cool to have something to give you a little bit of orientation you know the yellow in the back and red in the front and uh and also it uh raises the quadcopter up high enough where you can either put a battery on the bottom or if you even have it in here you know inside the actual slot sometimes this uh, buckle will kind of throw it off with just the stock little foams so I thought that was a neat little uh, in the lab, you know, I didn't actually do in the lab, but you know, it's pretty simple guys. I don't think you guys need to be brought into the lab to do this modification. It's just, you know, a little bit of a uh, heat shrink tube uh, and just cut all four pieces the same length and stick them in there. And you can even put a little hot glue like I did, put a little hot glue on there. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and fly it for you. Go ahead and fly it around with the oh and this is the hobby people 1300 milliamp 30c 3s battery is what we're going to be using for this flight too as well guys so you know the stock battery is uh, 800 milliamps so hopefully get a little extra flight time and maybe even a little more punch a little more power open uh, actually i'm gonna have to time it to see Matter of fact, we are going to time. We're going to time the flight too. I'm going to go ahead and hit my little stopwatch here. Stopwatch here on my phone, actually. I mean, on my uh, watch. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take off here. Like I said, you got to find a sweet spot and make sure the weight's not uh, off too bad. It looks pretty good right there, actually. And it don't seem to affect the way it flies with the battery on the bottom, which is cool. But, you know, that's kind of why, you know, we're not doing FPV with it. I just wanted you guys to see that uh, the weight's not thrown off by the battery being on the bottom. You know, it still, still flies good, still hovering, you know, still doing funnels. It's, it's not uh, it's not having no problem with, uh, you know, the uh, vortex ring state. So, seems to be able to handle the battery perfectly fine, especially with the uh, covers off, you know. I must say that actually does increase the performance quite a bit. It's like those little fans can breathe way better with those covers off. And this is, uh, this is blue, actually. We're going to go ahead and switch to green which is a little more ballistic yeah a little more ballistic yeah so 
Don't seem to have no problem with that battery, so we're good. Hmm, that thing does some hell of a funnel. Wow. And it is, uh, as you can see, guys, you know, it is hovering, so the battery's not throwing it off, all right? Plus, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's going to throw it off with that on the bottom, and da-da-da. Well, you know what? It don't, so. And we are uh, timing its flight, so we're going to see how much uh, flight time we get compared to stock. Stock for me was, uh, the stock battery, I'll be honest with you, some people are reporting, uh, six and a half minutes I'll be honest with you I haven't gotten that much flight time out of mine uh, I've gotten about five five minutes honestly guys So it does seem to fly pretty good. Like I said, it's not uh, ballistic like the uh, 200 UX, but it is made for FPV, and I'll tell you what, pretty sweet for FPV, guys. Because it does fly very easy to fly, very stable. It does make FPV a lot of fun, actually. But I'm not a big FPV flyer, guys. You know, in case you haven't noticed, I'm more of a line of sight flyer. I guess just from doing helicopters. I mean, I like my FPV, but just not that great at it. It's not my thing, really. Hopefully, we'll be doing some more of it in the future with my new uh, Quantum Goggle V2 upgrade kit that I got. So, make sure the light ain't blinking yet. No, still good. We got power. So, I noticed if you yaw real, real fast, it does kind of a little bit, maybe. Throws it off just a hair with the weight on the bottom, but really unnoticeable, like right there. But, uh,. Fly smooth though, don't seem to bother. Just when you do like a real drastic, drastic turn. Right there with perfect see. So I'll be honest with you, it kind of does that anyway, even with the stock pattern, a little bit. See if she's blinking yet. Yeah, she's blinking. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and land her. All right, cut her off. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Six minutes. We got six minutes exactly. So, uh, I'd say it increased the flight time maybe by a minute. So, because honestly, you know, a lot of Folks, like I said, are reporting uh, six minute flight times with the stock battery, but I say uh, that's not true because I'm only getting about five minutes and not even quite five minutes, honestly, a little less than five minutes with the stock battery. So we got six minutes and some change. So with uh, the 1300 milliamp battery, and I and uh, you know, and you can see I was on it pretty hard, folks. I wasn't just putting around, you know, I was uh, I was pushing it pretty good. So Anyway guys, uh, hope you like my little modification with the heat shrink tube and uh, 
Oh, we're gonna go ahead, before we end this video, we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, go ahead and check the low voltage on this battery too. But I hope you guys do like my little heat shrink tube modification. Like I said, it's just uh, two little pieces of heat shrink that you just stick down inside of here and you can put a little hot glue on there. You know, I kind of left this one unglued just to show you guys, you know, what it looks like. I hope you can see, I hope it's the right angle on my camera. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off my head so you guys can see, see what it looks like there. You know, uh, there's a little piece of foam that you just uh, pull out of there, and then a uh, little piece of foam you just pull out of there, and then you go ahead and you get your little heat shrink, and you uh, you know you heat it up, put a little lighter to it, you put a little lighter to it, you know, kind of shrink it down a little bit, just a little bit, and you end up with this right here, and uh, you can make uh, you make four of them the same size, of course, you cut them all four the same size. You can make them a little longer, you know, if you want. Uh, you know, it's up to you. Then you just stick them down that hole right there, and bam, you got a, you know, nice little landing foot. But I left this one out so you guys could see. All right, guys. Uh, oh, let me check this battery for you too. What the low voltage is on this thing? And it is 11.3, which is perfect. Uh, that's 3.77, 3.78. And 379 perfect so perfect that was actually perfect guys so it flew good uh, probably got an extra minute flight time with this battery and uh, so I hope you guys liked my little modification and uh, peace out <laughs>